Greg, talk to me a little bit. How are you feeling? What's happening this Saturday? Feeling good, man. We out here, baby. Greatest fucking state in the world. About to inflict some damage on a little man. Make some money. It's the best time of the best time of my life, man. How proud are you to be fighting in Texas? I'm proud as hell. I'm glad to be back, man. We had a we had a ball playing for the Cowboys. Had a ball fighting in um, San Antonio. I fought in Dallas. Now I'm in Austin. I'm coming to take the boxing world by storm. It's crazy. Are you a Texas man? I'm a Texas man, bro. It's bigger, it's better, it's faster. It's what we do. Bigger, stronger. There's no limits. Talk to me a little bit about you. We were talking about Shannon the Cannon behind you were saying your four chapters. I mean, what? there's so much in your repertoire. There's the football, there's the MMA, there's the boxing. Talk to me a little bit about you as an athlete. Man, it's plain and simple, bro. Like, like the champ said. Ain't no limits. Like I, I live, I live by that that, that mantra, by that, that mentality, bro. Like they, they can't stop me. You would have to kill me to stop me. I can do whatever I want, and you gotta prove to me that you can stop me from doing it. And after one chapter, two chapter, three, three chapters, they hadn't stopped me yet. What happened when this fight was put to you? Tell me a little bit about. Did you get a call? How quick was the response? No, I was plain and simple, bro. I was, I was, I was, I was doing my thing. The champ said, "Yo, you want it? It's grimy." I said, "Let's get it. It's easy." He said, all I got to do is eat. He said, all I got to do is show up and be a killer. And I was like, yo, that's how I wake up every morning. And we here. It was amazing. You've got one of the most motivational men behind you. Talk to me a little bit about Shannon's influence. I be having to calm down sometimes. <laughs> he be having me ready to go, man. I, yo, he, he got me feeling like I can knock anybody out. Anybody. I, I, I feel like I, I got to stand behind it, man. Like, I'll go anywhere. We'll fight anybody at any time. <laughs> over the seas, over the moon, out of the country. Anywhere you want to go, man. I'm, I'm here to prove it and show up. What's your boxing ability like? Hasim says you're not going to be able to touch him. I'm not going to be able to touch him, huh? I mean, I feel like everybody's in that beautiful narrative of like Greg Hardy, the football player, and don't realize I've been beating the hell out of people for three years, bro. Like, to get me to stop beating the hell out of people, they had to wrestle me to the ground, restrain my arms, and keep me from getting up. And now I'm in a sport where they can't touch me, they can't put me down, they got to bring some friends into the ring to get me out. Like. Where he gonna go? What's he gonna do? What's his plan? Like, I understand his perspective, but where's his proof? You ain't seen mine. You ever seen a 350 pound old lineman stop me? Nope. You ever seen a 265 pound assassin? We went to Russia, bro. The number four heavyweight in the world at the time. He couldn't stop me, he had to go to decision. Who gonna stop me? How's he gonna stop me from touching him? Gonna pray? He could call his dad. That's a dangerous man. But he, I mean, if that ain't an option, what are you gonna do? And that's my answer right there. Let's go, champ! <laughs> How big is Saturday night for you? Oh, it's epic, bro. Like, you know, I got the call on short notice. Happy to be here, happy to fill in, happy to help, bro. But at the end of the day, this is my shine time. This is my emergence into the boxing world. I saw it as, yo, a, a time to come out and prove to the, to the champ that, like, I belong to be here. Like, I, do, I deserve the support. I'm gonna make him proud, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be his new stepson. We're gonna kill everybody. And this is, the, this is the grounds to do it. If you get the win on Saturday. Win. When you get the win on Saturday, how big is it for you? Is it, in terms of all you've achieved throughout your career across sports, where does this rank? I don't want to sound crazy or cocky. It's just getting started. It's like the beginning. I feel like everybody's seeing like the culmination of the work and it's like, oh man, Greg's coming into this beautiful. Like we, I'm a baby. But this, this is gonna be number one, and number two, three, four, five is gonna fall so fucking hard, you're not gonna believe your eyes. It's gonna be like, how did this happen? Like, and where else is he about to go? Do you have names that you wanna go for? I don't need names, line them up. That's been my motto the whole time. I ain't never lied to nobody, I ain't never played no games. I never asked for no opponent, I never not asked for no opponent. Line them up, I'ma drop them for you. Talk to me about this man, Shannon. How far is he going? You see him? He's an animal, a machine. Look how big he is, look how strong he is. Football, MMA, he can do anything. They need to sign him to baseball. You should see how he hit a baseball. The hardest hitting baseball player i ever seen right here, y'all. I'm telling you, this man is incredible. I'm telling y'all, Saturday night is gonna be a big upset. I'm a fan of Rockman and his son, but Saturday is gonna be an upset. They're going down fast and hard. The man is here now, look at him. That ain't a normal size. Look at him. <laughs> I go across people's faces. <laughs> respect for all the Rockmans, respect for everybody. Yeah. But you don't need, you don't you don't gotta have respect and no respect to put a nigga down. That's right. Ooh, wait a minute. 
Biggie. Let's go, champ. He don't need fear. He don't mm. need all that. He can be happy to be here, I'm not scared. Respect me. I respect him. Mm. That ain't gonna stop him. At all. That don't stop the boogeyman from coming for you. I bro. seen him working, y'all. He a machine, non-stop animal. I never seen nothing like that. I said that's the new George Foreman. When I seen him working, I said that's the new George Foreman. 